Welcome to Talk to PE. Hello everyone, my name is Kurama Pias and welcome to Talk to PE. In this edition of Talk to PE, we're going to look at basically two things. The first thing is we're going to make a brief recap of how my first week as a YouTuber has been. And the second thing we'll be looking at how we'll be going forward in the next podcast, which is not today. All right. So my first week as a YouTuber. Firstly, I want to give you a big, big thank you for everybody who watched the last video. All of you who subscribed, all of you who reposted, and showed me a lot of love. I mean, amazing stuff. Thank you so much. And, you know, let's keep the love going. So where can I start? So my journey began last Sunday when I posted a reel on Instagram, uh, talking about how I want to start a YouTube channel and how I need your support to do it. And I got a lot of support from friends and family who reposted, who DM'd me, who, you know, showed me a lot of love and support. And uh, this went on and on to Monday where I basically got a lot of reception. I was trying to build up to the expected date where I was releasing my, uh, releasing my first podcast on Tuesday. And even then, it was still good love and good vibes. And this caused a lot of pressure. And I was like, is it going to be worthwhile? And then the D-Day came on Tuesday when I released the video. And yeah, it also got a lot of good reception. I got a lot of viewership. I mean, I reached my first 100 subscribers in my first three days. And all this is good news. Thank you so much. And thank you so much. And thank you so much again. Uh, so yes, I received a lot of positive feedback. Uh, from family and friends and everybody that cared to send in something. And some of them I would love to share with you are, well, there was one from my uncle where he said, well, this is not surprising. You should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> like, okay, it's good to notice that people think this is actually a journey I should have taken. And uh, that really gave me courage to keep on. And I had a lot of friends who were like, yeah, Pius, keep up, keep up. We're going to support you with subscribing and all that. And others were like, yeah, what are you going to do, man? <laughs> we never saw this coming. And all that was just a nice experience to, to see and uh, leave, to be honest. Yeah, the other thing as well that I really enjoyed, uh, and which was a very, very big positive, was actually a few friends of mine who went into volunteer to provide more content for me, to help me create more content. And we're like, yeah, but I think we should have talk about this topic as well. You should also talk about this. Some were like, you should come and we record a session together. I mean, that was amazing. I cannot wait to meet anyone. If you think really should, uh, you would want to share anything with me, if you want to be part of Talk to P, yeah, just please, I'll put my number at the bottom of the screen. Just uh, WhatsApp me or Instagram or anything. I'll be willing to respond and Especially if you're around Warsaw or Poland, then yeah, we should make it happen because this is all about it coming. I'd really love to have you here. I would, P would love to talk to you and you should talk to P, you know. <laughs> all right. Now, there is this other comment that I got. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's positive or negative, but I'd like to take it positively. A few friends of mine were, you know, messing up with me. I was like, hmm, I see you. You sound, uh, you see, your accent has changed. <laughs> and yeah, but I, I have to make this look good for YouTube, you know. We are not going to speak like I, I, I normally speak, you know. We are going to have to sound nice. Can you understand me? Uh -uh. But anyway, uh, I, I take that as a positive. That means you, you, you think um, my, 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 my English is good, so kudos to that. Now going on to... Not so much the positive part, because there's a lot of, could I say negative or positive criticism? Yeah, I think that's the politically correct terminology. Yeah. So yes, uh, a few of my friends and many others that I really enjoyed listening out, uh, gave me a few things I need to correct. Yeah, one of them is the topic. Many of my friends thought, some of my friends thought, some of the people who reached out to me thought it was not the best topic to start with. It was not a topic that is inclusive, it was not a topic that many people related to. And I do understand where they're coming from, but uh, nevertheless, it's a very important topic. I enjoyed having that conversation. And I mean, 
we look at the importance and the seriousness about it and we'll look at fun later on and uh, to make maybe a few things clear as much as i'd love this platform to be entertaining i'd really love it to be fun but i don't think the most important thing about this channel is to entertain but rather as i said in my first reel uh, it, it should be a platform to speak about any issue and so the ambiguity of the word anything contains both fun and not so fun both entertaining and educating and so this is a platform that contains anything worth speaking about so even for people out there who think they should give me a suggestion or join in to discuss anything don't hesitate to you know throw in or tell me what we should talk about just because it's not that entertaining or enjoyable as long as it's worth talking about talk to people talk about it yeah the other thing that uh i really agree with as well which was uh, a negative criticism was the quality of the video uh, first of all it was an audio midway uh, and the quality was not that good because there was interruption of the music in the background uh, some people said the music in the background was not related to the topic that was being discussed which i understand agree with and make sense and so we were we we are we will try to make the audio quality better uh probably get microphones or something and uh even if we were to put music in the background it should kind of match what the issue the is uh the issue we're talking about actually is thank you for that advice positively taken and guilty as charged the other negative part I got, which was actually nice for me to be honest, was that the podcast was too short. Yes, uh, the, the the idea was normally podcasts go one hour or two. They're quite long discussions. This one was just really about twelve minutes or less, and uh, that makes sense. But if you find it short, that means you can enjoy it to the very end. So that's maybe a plus as well. But I'll take it as a thing to correct and. Yeah, you should bear with me. It was just the beginning, but we'll try to make it uh, longer and uh, containing more content going forward. All right, but generally speaking, everything was really good. I've had a good week. The subscriptions went so fast in the first three days, and then nobody subscribed now, <laughs> which makes sense because there's no content coming up. But uh, sure, I hope as we grow on and on and on this channel will grow and with your help if you keep on watching and sharing this video then who knows we could uh, reach out to a lot of people out there and share more discussions and have more content cannot wait for that to happen but let's enjoy the baby steps now that aside uh this week today i basically had also an idea of releasing a new podcast but before we get into that i want to have a discussion with you one-on-one -on -one about an issue that i think we should rethink so come here i need us to rethink a very basic thing called forgiveness if you stumble and step on my shoe and you say sorry if you punch me and say sorry if you steal from me and say sorry i may or may not forgive you but in the event that i do what do i actually mean when i say i've forgiven you do I go back thinking I met a clumsy guy who stumbles on people's shoes? Do I always think you're a violent person who punches people? Do I go around calling you a thief? If I'm not willing to separate the scene from the sinner, then what is the importance of forgiveness? Or is that forgiveness complete? I've asked a couple of people around me 
what they think about this concept. And I cannot wait to share their experiences with you. They're mind blowing. But I want anyone out there who wants to join me on this topic, on the next podcast about this topic, to have this in mind, to have my opinion straightened out. Imagine you lend me a coat and I bring it back with a big stain and smell. At that point, you don't want to put on the coat. But once you wash that coat, you believe that the detergent will take away all the smell and it will be spotless and clean. And so you can put it on and never ever relate the coat to the mess again. And that's what forgiveness for me should be. Once you go through the cleansing process of forgiving someone, you separate them from the mess. This cannot be better explained than a poem from an anonymous source in which the persona is an elementary school teacher. And I'll tell you this poem. It goes like, he came to my desk with a crimson lip. The lesson was done. Have you a new sheet for me, dear teacher? I spoiled this one. I took his sheet all soiled and blotted and gave him a new one all unspotted. And into his tired heart I cried, do better now, my child. I went to the temple with a trembling heart. The day was done. Have you a new day for me, dear master? I spoiled this one. He took my day all soiled and blotted and gave me a new one all unspotted and into my tired heart he cried. Do better now, my child. I believe forgiveness is a choice. But once tended, I think should be tended all clean and unspotted unlike the damage and pain that you received, which was blotted and soiled. But you can challenge me. You can have a different opinion about forgiveness. How do you tend to forgiveness? Talk to P is here. Be sure to reach me out and let's have this discussion. Let's make it happen. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.